Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Members of the staff of IUM, students, ladies and gentlemen, firstly I would like to say thank you very much for this invitation to speak on pandemic, a new dawn. We have not yet reached the end of this pandemic. It is still with us, but we should also be thinking about, about what we would do after the end of the pandemic. There are many things that we need to do all the time. In the first place, we as Muslims must uh, work for peace. There is too much fighting in this world today. Muslims should contribute to the work to bring back peace to the world because Islam promotes peace. But many of us are busy going against actually the teachings of Islam. We find that we do not actually practice what the Quran tells us to do. We are forbidden from killing. To kill a person is the same as to kill the whole of humanity. That is the creed of Islam. We are not allowed to kill fellow Muslims because that will result in our being confined, confined to, the, to hell forever. And yet today, we see a lot of wars being fought. Internal wars, civil wars, and wars between nations. Many of them are wars between Muslim countries. Such are the misery that has befallen many Muslim countries, that Muslims have to run away from their Muslim country to seek refuge in non-Muslim country. Millions of them have left their own country, their own Muslim country, in order to seek refuge in Europe. And Europe, of course, is Christendom, the land of the Christians. We hope to be able to live a better life in a Christian country, better, in fact, than in a Muslim country. That is because, in many instances, we have not followed the teachings of Islam. We should have our country stable and peaceful all the time. Our governments should be providing good governance for all the Muslim countries. But unfortunately, some governments have failed to provide the kind of governance in their country to the point where many people in their own country have decided to leave their country and to seek refuge elsewhere. It shows that while we claim to be Muslims, while we perform the Fardu'ayn, we, we pray, we perform, perform the Hajj, we fast during Ramadan, we give zakat, but on the other hand, we do not carry out what is enjoined upon us as good Muslims, the way of life of Muslims. We have ignored to the point where we actually go against the teachings of Islam. Certainly, killing a person is not advocated by our religion. But we see this being done 
Muslims against Muslims. And of course, in some instances, we seek refuge in non-Muslim countries and we commit acts of violence, including exploding, exploding bombs to kill people who never hurt us in any way. Sometimes even children were killed as the bombs do not have any specific target. This is what is happening in the Muslim world. It is not in accordance with the teachings of Islam. So, if this pandemic is to end, we should create a new dawn, a dawn in which Muslims perform all that is taught by Islam, the way of life of Muslims. We should not neglect all the guidance that is found in the Quran. We should not always be carried away by the rhetorics of people, leaders who have their own agenda. And sometimes, or most of the time, their agenda does not conform to the teachings of Islam. Let us go back to the true teachings of Islam, which is to us the main guidance is provided by the Quran. The message that was received by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from God. I hope <coughs> that uh, Muslims will lead the way towards a better dawn after the pandemic. <clears throat> For the first time in the history of mankind, the whole world is attacked together as if it is the enemy of some creatures. And yet, when we are attacked by the whole, when we are attacked by these creatures, this virus affecting the whole world, we find that we do not act together. The rich tends to take for them the vaccines while the poor are deprived of the supply of vaccine so that they are exposed to, to the COVID-19 attacks. Yet, if the world is attacked by another world, as imagined by some writers in the West, the world needs to defend itself, not by countries, but by the whole world. We should think of the future and the future of the whole world. Because today, what happens to one country will affect the rest of the world. We are seeing this today. We are seeing this today because of the war in Ukraine. The whole world suffers. And that includes Malaysia. We are deprived of many things. Things have gone up in price, causing misery to a lot of people. We see the sanction applied against Russia, supposedly to stop Russia from conquering Ukraine. But that sanction has affected Europe just as much as Russia. For example, Europe depends on Russia 
for the supply of gas and fuel. And because of the war, the supply of gas and fuel has been stopped. And also we find that Ukraine, which produces most of the wheat, wheat for Europe, is not able to supply the wheat to Europe. So Europe suffers from its own sanction as much as America, uh, Russia has suffers from the sanction. War is about killing people. Civilized people should not kill each other. But we are not really civilized. Because if you kill one man, that is murder. And you may be charged and even sentenced to death for killing one man. And yet in wars, you kill a million people and you are rewarded for it. You are given medals. You are elevated. You are mentioned in history books as a great hero. Yet what you have done is to commit multiple murders. There is something wrong with our civilization. It is not really civilization. We are very, very primitive. We are like the savages that we condemn. They kill in their wars, but to a little group, not many people are killed in savage wars, but in the wars carried out by the rich and the powerful, millions of people are killed. One bomb can be dropped on a city and 70,000 people would die. That is the extent of the crime committed during wars. So we as Muslims should abhor wars. We should be working for a new dawn in which the world is peaceful and prosperous so that people will live in peace and enjoy the life that God has given them in this world. So I would like to say once again, thank you for your invitation to speak on the dawn after the pandemic. The dawn should be a world that is peaceful, a country that is peaceful, a community that is peaceful, and we should have a better life having practiced the way of life of Muslims. I thank you.